Hello guys, I'm Ali Mul Karim, uh, the instructor for this course, and these lectures are being recorded uh, in the memory of Dr. Abdul Haq, sir. I have been taught by him. So today we're going to talk about uh, gates, and um, the first question that you should ask that why we need gates? Because we are engineers, we shouldn't learn something which doesn't make any sense. And uh, if you're working with logic and saying that if this happens, we need something like this. If uh, condition A and B are true, then we're going to do condition 3 or things like uh, something else. So when you say something like this, you actually want to implement in machine or things like that. So uh, you need uh, some conditional structure to actually handle that. We have actually done those before as an example, as a homework, or things like that. So, if you just look at this homework before, uh, here I have actually shown that it's actually either or, uh, if you have seen the solution, and this one is actually M. So, if both of those are true, then the circuit is going to be on. So that's the idea. So, so most of the time you will have this uh, or or M type of situation. So. These, these are switch, actually, basic switch, but in computer or uh, when we actually try to do it very efficiently, we don't use these switches because this switch has to be on by someone. So this is not how real world works. Everything should be worked uh, automatically. So based on this idea, uh, the diodes are made. And based on diodes, you can actually make switches. And uh, to make it more efficient, uh, it actually gates are actually based on e MOSFETs. So, if you're into those electronic uh, courses, so you could learn it, that how it's actually developed with the e MOSFET. And the primary idea of the gate is to build conditions. So there are, I say, there are three basic gates, and based on uh, th these three basic gates, there are other four gates. Uh, basic logic gates and uh, there are four combinational gates you can say and total we have actually seven gates and based on these seven gates we can actually build computers and we're going to learn throughout this so we have learned that why we need gates actually so let's start with uh, some uh, common idea uh, so this one I actually show when I actually teach people the OR gate. So OR gate's condition is like this. I have water and I have two ways to give the water. So if either one of the switches on, on, then I'll get the water in the resulting tank. And the idea of the OR gate is same, similar here. So if any one of those are true, then we're going to get electricity there. That's the idea. So Next, what we uh, see, what we're going to see is AND gate. So, if both of those are on, then we're going to get the water here. Other than that, if any of those are false or off, whatever you say is less than the 5 volt, uh, we're not going to get the water or not going to get the electricity. That's the idea. So, based on that, let me just first find the AND gate. So, AND gate is similar to the D symbol, so it looks like this D, and you'll have two inputs, there could be uh, three or four inputs, you could actually build it from this one, we'll talk about it later. So, at the result, let's say we're saying it F. So, the truth table for this one I'm not going to write truth table every time. When you see this table, just assume that it's the truth table. So, since two variables, so 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, F is going to look like this, that. Uh, so, AND gate, so if you, if you remember from the things, uh, AND, this one, sorry, so this one. So if both are true, then we are getting the water. So, if both of them are true, only this one, then we're getting the electricity in the F phase, or F is true. And all other phases are going to be false, because 
any of those are false in these states. So we could actually write a remark from this that if any false or zero ultimate result is zero or false, whatever you say. And it could also be written in a functional equation. So it could be written like this, f equal a dot b. And a dot b means uh, actually multiplication, logical multiplication, logical multiplication. Uh, I'm not going to write the whole thing. So in short, we also write this one. So most of the time, we're going to just write a and b. It means that there is an AND gate and get there and the ultimate result is going to be on the F so if both of those are true then F is going to be true that's the idea so in boolean functions the idea is each of those uh, variables are going to have either 0 or 1 value and based on 0 and 1 value the ultimate the function which it's holding it is also going to have true or false or 0 and 1 value so whatever happens to both of those ultimately we're going uh, 0 or 1 in the F that's the idea in boolean function so we'll get deep into that I'm just giving you the glimpse of it so uh, here comes the OR gate OR gate looks like this so it's actually either OR either OR situation and both situation both true situation could write like this so it looks like this something like this so if you have a b giving us input these are actually inputs so inputs so if both of those are inputs so if f the output output then you could write to table like this zero 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 one one zero one one uh, if either one of those are true, the ultimate result is true. So either one is true, either one is true, either one is true. Here, both of them is false, so ultimate result is false. So we could write a remark there. If both false or zero, ultimate result is zero or you could write that if any one of those is true ultimate is true if or if any true true ultimate is true so either way you just make yourself remember it so it looks like this that you have something similar there so it looks like this that a plus b and remember it's a logical summation there is a difference between logical summation and a binary summation and I'm going to write it so uh, it could also be written like this some books write like this but I prefer this one and throughout this uh, sessions, I'm going to only pick out this one. So this N is also can be written like this. So some books follow this one. So whatever you follow is the same thing. But we're going to follow with this one because it makes more sense, more, much more easier to understand. So uh, there is a difference between logical sum and binary sum. Binary sum versus logical sum. So in binary, if you have 1 plus 1, it's going to be 2. And to represent 2 in binary, you have to write 1, 0. Because if you remember from the binary, 2, 0, 2, 1. So this one is 1. You have to put a 1 there. Uh, you have to put a 0 there because this one is 2. So you have to only put 1 in there. So this is the binary for 2, 2. So in binary sum, you have to write 1 plus 1 equals 1, 0. However, when you are doing logical sum, 
1 plus 1 is always 1, not 1, 0. That's the difference in logical sum and binary sum. Whatever you sum up, if either one of those is actually 1, ultimate result is 1, not 1, 0, or 2. Always going to be 1. That's the logical sum. So this is the basic idea and one last basic gate and it's the NOT gate. It's also known as inverter. Okay, so um, the idea behind the NOT gate is whatever you pass, it's going to invert the thing that you have passed. So if you pass 0, it would be 1 in this side. If you pass 1, it would be 0 in this side. So that's the idea. So if you pass A, it would be inverted A. It could be written like this one, side hash, or it could be written like this one, uh, upper under, underscore. Uh, so whatever you write, it's actually the same thing. We understand both. And uh, the idea would be F. If you're taking input here, so if you pass 0, you're going to get one. If you pass one, you're going to get zero. That's the F. So F is also written as this, this, or this. So remember, it flips. Flips the input. That's the idea. Now we're going to talk about uh, combinational gates, four combinational gates, and first we're going to talk about NAND gate. So NAND gate is actually AND gate with a NOT gate in front of it, NOT gate in front of it. So whatever you pass on AND, so AND is AB, and NOT is going to invert that, so it's going to be AB upper underscore or invert. So this is going to be your F and uh, it also actually can be written like this. So when uh, not get is very close, we actually do not use this symbol. We directly write like this, which is actually also the NAND gate. Same thing. So this F equals AB not. So we could actually write the truth table here. So if we have AB, uh, 011011. So first, what we should do is um, AND gate. Try to get the AND gate and then we're going to get the NAND gate because NAND gate is going to be the invert of the AND gate. So uh, AND gate, uh, this one is only true, but others are actually false. So in the NAND gate, this one is only going to be true because whatever is passed is going to be just inverted so this one is only going to be the true one that's the idea okay, so next we're going to talk about nor get nor get so uh, and one of the remark if we just write the remark there remark could be any zero output one any zero output one that could be a remark so nor gate is uh, similar as NAND gate just put the or gate there and add a NOT gate in front of it NOT so this is the or so if we have a b so here we are going to have a b so here in f we're going to have a plus b NOT so it could also be written like this like this, A, B. So the truth table could be look like this. So we're going to get OR and then F equals to A, B. Okay. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So if it is OR, uh, every one of those will be 1 except for this one. So in this one, every one of those are going to be inverted. So it would look like this. So it remark can be written like this that if any one one of those is one ultimate result is zero. That could be the idea. 
any of those is 1, ultimate result is 0. Any of those is 1, ultimate result is 0. So far, so good. So now we're going to talk about. Uh, Uh, we're going to talk about XOR gate, which is also known as exclusive all, exclusive or gate. So it's actually based on several gates. So first, I'm going to write is the formula. So, so if A and B, if these are the XOR gate, then it should be look like this as A B this one so this one is actually the uh, XOR gate representation so um, if you take an AND gate because here is an AND you can see so and not it and if you have A and B built inputs we have something like this and for the A we're going to take it as not not A and B so this one is your first half and all at the function we're going to get the OR gate. So this one is OR, this one is AND. Okay, so this one is going to be here. So this is a sum, 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 summation is going to be processing here. And next again we are going to have the AND gate. And here B is going to be the NOT. So put a NOT gate there and A is going to be there so just put it there so in F it's actually there. okay so this is actually the idea of the XOR gate which is actually simply represent like this one so let me write the true table and the circuit design for that so XOR gate is uh, explained like this or marked like this so it's an OR gate uh, with some gap and then this symbol and then you just input this a b and in f you're going to get a x or b that's the idea and the truth table looks like this so table looks like this we have input zero 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 one one zero one one so if Uh, we know it uh, if you just calculate this one so the ultimate result would look like this this and the remark that's what I remember all the time uh, we can actually calculate this one however it's easier to remember by the remark remark is if same input the output is zero same input output is zero other or one is oh, I missed it sorry it would be zero one one zero so wrote it like this so this is how the XOR gate looks like and XOR gate is very important for doing uh, maths or things like that very important and uh, the last gate we have is uh, XNOR gate which is actually the not exclusive get or exclusive nor get uh, known as exclusive nor get exclusive nor gate so idea of this is something like this we have XOR get and in front of it we have a not get that's the idea so whatever we're going to get uh, a x or b so we're going to invert that again that's the idea if you have. so uh, it it could also look like this that this then uh, a b plus a b so this one is before and above that there is going to be another whole not gate so that's the idea and the truth table as you assume that first you're going to do the XOR gates truth table so if a and b is given so 0001 1011 
So first, try to do it by the XOR. And then, I'm going to do the F. So, in XOR, we're going to have same input, 0, and different input, 1. So, and this one just going to invert the XOR, so 1, 0, 0, 1. That's the idea. Thank you for watching the video. And if you like the video, please make a blog post. Uh, we would really appreciate it because that's the only appreciation that we're going to get from you guys. Give a thumbs up, share it, that's it. If you don't like the video, of course, dislike it with a comment so that we understand what you don't like and we can make it better. And the video is sponsored by Developers Organism. So if you like us, go to the Facebook page and give a thumbs up. That's it. Stay tuned.